Alright y'all, so literally every human on earth has been begging me to make a video showing me installing my new SSD. It's one terabyte, it's from ADATA, it's going to be installed in this mother jammer, and it's going to be right next to my Samsung SSD, which has everything I care about on it. So I need some way to back up my stuff, so let's get to it. Alright, so we've got the two cords we need here. This one is going to connect the drive to the motherboard and then this one is going to connect the drive to my power supply unit i have a fully modular power supply unit so you only need to you only need to plug in the cores that you actually are using which is this one here sata and then here we have the actual ssd it's a nice little compact one terabyte all in this little tiny space and there's the two plugs we're going to plug in right back there in fact let's go ahead and uh i guess i'll just plug them in right now I mean I don't see why not let me do some movie magic alrighty so we've got them plugged into this now um, the important thing is to not force these all right it's um, sometimes you need to put a little bit of uh, muscle into it but it's you know if, if it's not you you know just make sure you're plugging it in the correct way there's a little notch there's a little notch that uh, it's gonna go right in the correct way okay so basically I'm gonna take out this thing which I'm gonna dust this a little bit and I'm gonna take out this thing and connect it to this but first things first you need to shut down your computer your computer needs to be turned off all right so let's uh, keep an eye on this for a minute Alrighty, it clicked off. Alright, now when I say off though, I mean really off. And when I say off, I mean fucking off. Okay, so now this thing is off as hell, okay? There is no way that this is going to get fried by electricity. So I'm going to move this out. Alright, so for my computer, uh, let's see, I've got these thumb screws back here. I'm going to do this one-handed because I'm an idiot. Uh, unscrew this one. Now from here... Oh, okay, film that. Alright, so we've got the front off, and then uh, let's go take the back off. Alright, so we're taking the back off now. Um, I've got a couple cameras, but they're really old. Uh, well, not really old, but like, you know, six six years old-ish. Um, I'm using this... I'm fi oh, wait. Okay. okay, so now we can get a little bit better look at the back of this bastard. Uh, this is where all the dirty little secrets are. But here is the um, power supply unit. So you can see in there the fully modular thing. There's a there's room for like another graphics card, power to that, uh, let's see, CPU, another CPU maybe. The, I think that's my SATA 1 back there in the far back. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to have to reach back there. I'm going to definitely do that off camera. So yeah, do a little bit of dusting, and then on the other side here, I'll just go right to it. Uh, where is this son of a bitch? There it is. Okay, let's see. Right there. That's one of them. The other one's going to probably be right next to it, I think. Uh, probably not above it. Probably just right to the left. But i got to make it loop back there and around for that cable management. But right now, let me uh, unscrew this thing. It's super dusty in here, so... This one is just one thumb screw, and then, oops, I fucking unscrewed it entirely, so that's fine. Uh, boosh, this is dusty as all hell. I'm going to dust this for shizzle. Let me put this over here. But basically, this, I'm just going to put the, install the SSD onto this thing, and then uh, slide it in, and then just loop my, loop my uh, cords around and just plug them in the right place, and that's pretty much it, man. Building a PC is de decently easy these days. Alrighty, so I actually forgot that I need four screws. Uh, they should be with my motherboard, I think, or maybe with the case box. Um, but there are four screws somewhere in my house that need to connect these four parts to this thingy. So I'm going to go find those right now, burb. Alright, so I found some screws. Uh, they were with my motherboard box, but they I feel like they may have, they probably came with the with the case. Uh, so we have 632 screw hexagon. There's only four here. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm not sure. 632 screw flat. So the ones that I have on this... Okay, I can't really see it. They look flat, though, probably. So I'm going to take a look at these, try and figure out which one's the right one to use, and, uh, yeah. All right, so these flat ones are probably going to work. Um, 
I have a lot more of them, which is a good thing. And uh, the ones on my other one look flat. So let me think about this for a sec. This thing, uh, let's see, this thing is gonna go in like that. So the cords are gonna be in the back. So it's gonna go flipped over, turn it over like that, flip it over like that. All right, we gotta screw it in that away. Okay. Um, so there's a ribbon here. What the fuck is this ribbon? Made in Vietnam. Oh shit. Warranty void if broken. Okay, I'm gonna leave that ribbon alone. Uh, let me put this on. Approach it from this angle. Okay, and then fucking okay all right so it's kind of in place i'm gonna get this in place i'm gonna screw these in and then uh, i'll check back in all righty so we got all four screws in uh i probably screwed them in a little too tight uh i, I mean i screwed them in all the way and then like a little bit extra but it's uh you don't really need to do that just screw them in that's it you don't have to try too hard you don't want to strip them. You're not trying to hold up a bookshelf or something. You're just trying to make sure this little feller doesn't, you know, jiggle around. Um, so now at this point, I'm going to, let's just get right into it. I'm, I got to feed these cords through a hole. If we can see it through that way. That's the other SSD right there. So uh, let's just do that now. See if we can do that shit. Uh, okay. So, oh wait, let's see. Yeah, so we're gonna, I'm actually gonna need to answer this. So, uh, you can see this SSD is going through that hole. This one, these cords are gonna go through that hole. So let's, uh, let's do that real quick. Okay, ran into a little issue here. Uh, you can see that right there, that's that little fella. And he's struggling to get in here. In fact, he can't even fit. And he's not gonna fit over on that way. Uh, the only way I was thinking was he's gonna have to go through here. Oops, well through there and just slide over this way maybe or it's actually I guess it's all just gonna come out to the left of the um, it's gonna all have to come through here so uh, we'll just push it further to the right so this is gonna have this one's gonna have to uh, the SATA cable might be able to go through the left one but the power cord is gonna have to go through the right one for sure so in fact I could probably show that right now there we go just like that Okay, so after some finagling, uh, I've got both the cords here now. So we got the SATA, or we got the, uh, this is going to go to the motherboard. This is going to go to the power supply unit. So from here, I can just shove this back there and that uh, mess of cords. And it'll be good. And this one, I can uh, bring it up here through that way. Let me show you what it looks like on this side. Uh, this thing isn't in yet, really. But, uh, oh, Jesus. Um, okay, so... Yeah, it was a little bit frustrating. To the left. All right, there you go. Slip it in real quick. Let me grab this thumb screw. And then you can fucking thumb screw that. All right, this is really coming together. All right, so we got that there nice and secure. Uh, so it was getting a little frustrating back there, guys. Uh, the important thing to remember is to never force anything ever, okay? Uh, it can get frustrating, but if you force something, you're going to fucking break something, and then at that point, it's going to be even more frustrating. So just, uh, you know, take a, take a moment, take a, catch your breath, do some deep breath, uh, do some meditation. And uh, so, yeah, let me, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this power cord, plug it in. So this shit is going to go all the way back there. Let's see. SATA 2, yep. Wait, what the fuck? All right, so this cable is going to need to go really far back there. So it's a little bit muddy. Uh, not really looking forward to this, but uh, we'll get it done. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's the SATA there. So I'm going to have to go to the left of, left of it, maybe? Wish me luck. All right, so that was a lot more annoying than I thought it would be. Um, so I got it in there, I think. SATA 1, SATA 2. So SATA 2, I'm going to make sure it's in there tight and then uh, just shove these cords back here. All right, y'all, we are in the home stretch. We got this cord here. 
this one left here you can see it was coming up from over this way uh, right now this needs to just plug into it just needs to get plugged into uh, I think I'm gonna go above it I guess going above it seems like it makes most sense so I'm gonna plug it in up there and I'll be back in a sec all right so we done did it uh, we got it above it it clicked in it wasn't too difficult um, I was gonna go in front of it but uh, let's see I think above it makes the most sense so this is it right here it's plugged into the motherboard uh, I think all that's left now to do is uh, kind of tuck these cords back here tuck them back there a little bit tucker rum tum tugger uh, yeah I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the shit back on and uh, let's see if it worked let's see if I didn't fuck my computer up and break it let's go so we got the back on Let's get this front bastard on there. I'm gonna do this. All right, and we got the front back on, so I'm gonna reposition this thing back to how it normally should be. Plug it back in, turn back on the power supply unit, turn on the computer, and then uh, let's see if it worked, or if I'm gonna be a very, very, very sad person. Back in position. A one. A two. A three. All right, so the computer turned back on, which is a huge, that's actually the first major surgery I've had to do for this computer since I finished building it about eight months ago. So I was a little nervous about that. Um, let's go ahead and just go right into it, this PC. Okay, so I'm feeling sadness, but there's something happening, I think. This thing is thinking. Hopefully this can discover it. Press F5 here. We've got the local disk, but where is the other one? Let's see, map network drive, I don't know what that means. All right, now I gotta troubleshoot this, give me a minute. Okay, so press the Windows key and type in partition. You need to go to create and format hard disk partitions. Um, this disk management window is going to pop up. Now you can see here it's got disk 0 and disk 1. Um, disk 1 is the one that we just installed. You can see it says unallocated. Right click that and go to new simple volume. This wizard is going to pop up. Um, you're mostly just going to keep everything the same throughout this wizard. Um, so that's one terabyte right there. You can change this letter if you want. I'm just going to keep it at D, but you can change it to E, F, G. Um, and then here you can change the volume label. It's just the name the name of it So I'm just gonna name mine SSD 2 So from here just go to next go to finish and then right now it's formatting um, So this is gonna take like 10 to 15 seconds for my computer. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody's gonna experience this um, I, Maybe some computers out there once you install it and you turn on the computer. It'll just automatically discover it um, I'm not sure uh, So there we go pops up SSD two one terabyte. All right, well there it is, guys. Uh, after watching your tutorial, I was able to uh, get this thing hooked up, and we got us another terabyte to fudge around with. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you guys out. I'm gonna link the video that I watched to help me out with the activating a new SSD. Uh, yeah, please like, please subscribe, all that shizg. Uh, I'll talk to y'all later. The clowning has begun. <laughs>